So in this new session of a Marth edit raw message, we are trying to edit the raw HL7 message. So we are going to use the same msg variable and try to edit few fields in the HL7 message. Let's go to Marth connect and the same uh, channel uh, which we are using. This was delete and this is edit. I just unchecked it and I checked it. So this will only function. Simple type msg uh, and the small letters perfect and you need to type whatever you typed over here for example you typed this thing you can just copy it from here so you can paste it over here and you give something like apple so what I'll do I will not use speed 3 rather than that I'll use speed 5 speed 5 is nothing but a patient name right speed 5 Pit 5.1. So I want to give the patient name. What will I give the legend? Sachin Tendulkar. So this is a very, very, very basic way of uh, editing the raw SL message. So we are not using any templates or message trees over here. Directly I am going to the HL7 message, which is nothing but MSG. Inside that, in the Pit 5.1, I am giving this particular. Uh, string so let's see how it works. I'll go back. I'll save changes. I'll deploy it And I'll go to raw. I'll just reprocess some random message reprocess message Click OK search. Yeah the top you can see This is the raw message which doesn't have uh, any patient name over here. You can see and in the encoded message, you can see the legend such an internal curve. So it's a very, very basic way of uh, editing uh, the raw HL7 message. So if you know how to edit these things, you can ace anything. You can literally edit it, transform it in multiple ways. Let's see if you can, if we can get a few more examples. So what I'll do, I will add another string to the nk1 so i just added another string to nk1 the spouse name is nothing but the spouse name so what i'll do i'll add some spouse name here here da, 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 da. so i'll add the pika padukone so out of out of the box yep uh, i'll go back and i'll save changes and let's see if this will get the nk1 segment or not okay so generally we don't have nk1 segment in our message but what you say we will get it or not i'll just refresh it and over here you can see it's raw p1 the transform encoded you can see the nk1 segment so simply by not doing anything you are able to create a new segments that's amazing right so you don't need to use any things from scratch like create a new segment or any special code to create any new segment directly you are creating a new segment so not only nk1 you can create any type of segments for example i'll do over here i'll create some z segments which are very very important in our day-to-day -day life uh, i'll create as z zk1 zk so here to make it more interesting i'll give it as zk22 ZK 22.1 and I'll give you something like Narendra Modi Narendra Modi so we'll see whether we'll get a new ZK1 segment with 22 fields in it and we should get it that's how we are actually tweaking the message as much as possible I'll try to select and I'll reprocess this perfect and such we go to destination this is our message and encoded message see even we got narendra modi so we are not using any huge coding over here it's so very very basic we are creating it from scratch and we're able to create uh, a lot of things so i'm not using any external code like uh, create segment etc etc this is all like uh, huge stuff so that's the specialty of uh, tricking up with the raw HL7 message and we are able to edit uh, the variable MSG. So in few more videos you will learn a lot of things uh, how to tweak uh, by using the raw HL7 message. So we are going to not stop here. We can do wonders by using this uh, MSG variable. So 
I'm not using any functions from here just direct direct editing so we will see a few more examples so if we want to create a complete whole new segment uh, with all the values over here this is one case where you can assign the complete uh, segment here only we are assigning a string so all the before strings are empty fields so here we are assigning the complete uh, segment as a string to this variable and we are adding this variable to obx let's see how this works save changes deploy channel perfect we will go to this and we will reprocess one message the message doesn't have any obx segment and we will search perfect in the send you can see it's p1 in the encoded the obx segment has been added means you are able to add the complete obx segment and here you need to see uh, even the obx value has has been added to obx field so you did a mistake over here so we'll go back i think i think this this genuinely i did uh, by myself so it's a small correction you don't need to add obx over here you can directly remove this so automatically uh, in the msg uh, it's adding obx over here so you don't need to add in the string so we are just attaching this particular string to obx so it should work perfectly without any issues right and we will do we'll do it uh, we'll send some random message yeah search and the destination you can see it's raw and encoded it to obx without any issues that's it so yeah i, I really love uh, editing uh, the raw message rather than using the inbuilt functionalities the only thing which i don't like is like in martha going back saving deploying and coming back to the transform it takes a bit of time if possible we'll see another example too so this is another uh, example uh, you don't need to worry i pasted everything in the github so if i type it manually it will take a lot of time uh, it will consume a lot of time in the video so yeah this is nothing but if message nk1 exists delete it that's a very simple so even I don't need to use the if loop but it's saying if exist delete it so I don't want to delete nk1 I will delete pid okay so this I should have said in the previous video itself but I am explaining it over here as another example let's see how this works I'll save this I'll deploy it so we'll go over here so here we can see uh, there's a pid I'll reprocess this and we'll see how this works perfect in this we have pid and the encoded yeah the pid has been deleted you can see there is pid over here but there is no pid over here that's it i think uh, we are doing a great job over here uh, first we were able to delete it first now we are able to edit the message and add another segment that's going good so we'll see a few more examples in future thank you